guys welcome back to our channel the squad family tv and first of all i want to say a deep deep thank you to each and every single one of you who watches our videos likes subscribes to our videos and watches our channels you mean the world to us your support will always and shall always mean the absolute world to us thank you guys so so much thank you lydia washington thank you rosa roberts Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, Castillo. Thank you so, so much from the bottom of my heart. I want to say thank you. And guys, on the latest news to the Squad Family TV, Megan, the Duchess of Sussex, has written a letter to a Speaker Pelosi and Senator Skuma about the urgent need for paid leave for all in the U.S., in the United States of America. It's time, she says, to ensure that millions of American families who need and deserve guaranteed paid leave are given just that. So, guys, I'm going to take this opportunity to say Meghan Markle is an amazing woman, a woman full of impact, a woman that wants to make this world a better place. So, from the office of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, writing to the leader of the House Majority Leader, Chuck Schumer, and Honorable Nancy Pelosi, this is the letter that Meghan Markle wrote. Dear Leader Schumer and Speaker Pelosi, I'm not an elected official and I'm not a politician. I am like many an engaged citizen and a parent. And because you and your congressional colleagues have a role in shaping family outcomes, for generations to come. That's how I'm writing to you at this deeply important time as a mom to advocate for paid leave. Over the past 20 months, the pandemic has exposed long existing fault lines in our communities. At an alarming rate, millions of women dropped out of the workforce, staying home with their kids as school and daycare were closed and looking after loved ones full time. The working mom or parent is facing the conflict of being present or being paid. The sacrifice of either comes at a great cost. For many, this sacrifice goes back further than the past 20 months. It's 20 or 30 years even longer. Decades of giving time, body, and endless energy, not just in the pursuit of the American dream, but simply the dream of stability. I grew up on the $4.99 salad bar at Sizzler. It may have cost less back then, to be honest. I can't remember. But what I do remember was the feeling I knew how hard my parents worked to afford this because even at five bucks, eating out was something special and I felt very lucky. And as a girl scout, when my troop would go to dinner for a big celebration, it was back to that same salad bar or the old spaghetti factory because that what those families could afford to do too i started working at the local frozen yogurt shop at the age of 13 i waited tables babysat and piecemeal jobs together to cover odds and ends i worked all my life and saved when and where i could but even that was a luxury because usually it was about making ends meet, and having enough to pay my rent and put gas in my car. I expect many of your constituents have their own version of that story. Perhaps you do too. People in our country work incredibly hard, and yet their ask is soft. For a level playing field to achieve their version of a common dream, what is fair and equal and right. Many of our economic systems are past their expiration debt, and as you well know, too many Americans are forced to shortchange themselves when it comes to what matters to them. In June, my husband and I welcomed our second child. Like many parents, we were overjoyed. Like many parents, we were overwhelmed. Like fewer parents, we weren't confronted with the harsh reality of either spending those first few critical months with our baby or going back to work. We knew we could take her home. And in that vital and sacred stage, devote any and everything to our kids and to our family. We knew that by doing so, we wouldn't have to make impossible choices about childcare, work, and medical care that so many have to make every single 
they have to choose between earning a living and having the freedom to take care of their child or a loved one or themselves as we will see with a comprehensive paid leave plan. In taking care of your child, you take care of your community and you take care of your country because when paid leave is a right, we are creating a foundation that helps address mental health outcomes, healthcare costs and economic strength at the starting line. Instead, as it stands now, we spend a fortune as a country paying into symptoms rather than causes. I understand that with everything going on these days, poor people might find it easy to be apathetic about what's happening in Washington, D.C. And then equally, when it feels like your voice doesn't matter, you tend to use it less often. But with stakes this high, none of us can afford to let apathy win. I'm writing to you on behalf of millions of Americans who are using their voices to say that comprehensive paid leave should not be a place to compromise or negotiate. In fact, most nations already have paid leave policies in place. Estonia, for example, offers over a year and a half of leave to be shared by new parents with their babies. Many other countries have robust programs that give months of time for both parents birth or adopt are adoptive to be home with their child. The United States in stark contracts does not federally guarantee any person a single day of paid leave, and fewer than one in four workers has dedicated paid family leave through their employer. I'm sure you are, you'll, you'll agree that if we are to continue to be exceptional, then we can't be the exception. The families you represent need your strong leadership. With paid leave on the cusp of becoming a national reality, I trust you will meet this moment. I know you must hear from your constituents about the choices they are facing every day to make ends meet and care for their families. Paid leave should be a national right rather than a patchwork option limited to those whose employers have policies in place or those who live in one of the few states where a leave program exists. If you are going to create a new era of family first policies, Let's make sure that includes a strong paid leave program for every American that's guaranteed, accessible, and encouraged without stigma or penalty. I know how politically charged these things can and have become, but this, this isn't about right or left. It's about right or wrong. This is about putting families above politics. And for a refreshing change, it's something we all seem to agree on. At a point when everything feels so divisive, Let's this be a shared goal that unites us. So on behalf of my family, Archie and Lily and Harry, I thank you for considering this letter. And on behalf of all families, I ask you to, to ensure this consequential moment is not lost. Wow, 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 wow. Meghan Markle is absolutely perfect, incredible, amazing. What a fantastic, loving woman, mom and our advocate for female empowerment. That's who she is, and I love her. I love Meghan Markle for it. So, guys, let's look at the Twitter reactions from this. One tweet says, In France, we have it. Well done. Thank you, Meghan. So, Obit says, Meghan says a representative cares deeply about advocating for families in the U.S. and around the world. She has partnered with that paid leave for all, Marshall Plan for Moms and Paid Leave US on this effort and is glad they have been they can be champions together on paid leave at this critical moment. Someone said, Well done, Megan, thank you. Black vaccinated uh, and unbothered said, I love her activism. The Duchess of Sussex is always advocating for women. Consistency is her superpower. You see what I've always been saying? The Duchess of Sussex is always advocating for women. Consistency is her superpower. Rick, Rick Didi says, this is super awesome. We stand with Megan. Our peer countries have been supporting families for decades. It's hard to look at our lack of paid family leave, free child care, etc. and conclude anything other than the U.S. punishes people who choose to have kids. Perhaps that's why more Americans are choosing to be child free. This is a much needed stance. This will change lives if this is granted. A worthy endeavor. Someone clapped. Emojis. So happy. I can see it now. 
Madam Duchess goes to Washington. Meghan Markle, the beautiful Meghan Markle. What a well-written letter. Well done, Meghan Markle. Well done. Well done, beautiful Meghan Markle. Kudos to Meghan Markle for championing such a substantial and worthy initiative that will help parents and children all over the U.S. She's extremely talented in how she expresses herself and her writing is exceptional. Miriam said, oh, reading it got me so emotional. Yes, it, it did that to me as well. It's such an eloquent, beautifully written letter. Gosh, I love her. She continues to use her platform to push change for others. I admire her because she feels so relatable and loved reading about her experiences growing up. That's awesome. Five to six weeks isn't nearly enough time. Well said, our Duchess. Honestly, I am shocked that there is no paid nationally stipulated but maternity or paternity leave in the US. I feel sorry for moms on low income. I had about six months off. Two of the ladies they manage each at almost a year maternity with some pay up to 40 weeks. As an American, our country is not family friendly. You will be surprised at the jobs with no six days, no maternity leave, etc. Megan, brilliant. So I, I loved it. Absolutely amazing. So amazing. So eloquently lit written. She's so intelligent. I admire her courage as she continues to advocate for women and families. She is true to this. This woman never fails to amaze me. We would never have dropped them off. The beauty correction, the, the British tabloids are the ones that drove them off and away. And now they're thriving in the United States of America with their beautiful family, Lily, Archie, Harry, and Megan, and Doria. This is so powerful. Megan talks about her own experiences. So the essay is more emotive and engaging. Hopefully, change happens. So absolutely amazing. I'm so happy that Megan is back home. So bravo, Megan. I, I stand with Megan and I agree with her 100% with her. Paid leave for whole here in the United States of America. May Harry and Megan talk the talk and walk the walk. The world is so very proud of them. It is absolutely time, yes. Thank you, Megan, for advocating for all families. Megan is consistent. She has been writing letters to politicians since childhood. If you see something that you don't like or are offended by on television or another place, write letters and send them to the right place and you can really make a difference for not just yourself but for other people. Megan's been doing this since 11 years old. I love her. I love her. Correction, we all love her. So guys, the kindness and selflessness that oozes out of Megan is commendable. She could just keep keep on keeping your Meg. We appreciate you. It's so heartbreaking sad to think people in the US don't have the right to paid leave. Well done, Megan, and everyone else involved who's fighting to change that. Every parent deserves time at home with their families to board with their new arrivals. Wow, when she speaks, we all listen. Our American Duchess is so eloquent and a gifted communicator, the Duchess of Sussex. Well done, Megan. Well done. Also, always so inspiring. Love them so much. Well done. That's my princess, Megan Markle. Love, love, love it. Very, very good, Megan Markle. Very, very good. Very, very good to Megan Markle. Very, very good. Thank you so much, Megan. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so, so much. Be blessed always and forever. Guys, that's the Squad Family TV. Thank you so much for tuning into our podcast today. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much. For all, his, for all your support. It means the absolute world to us. Tell us what you think about Megan Marco's letter. I hope you guys enjoy our podcast. Thank you, Nelly. Thank you, Cookies and Cream. Thank you, Lydia Washington. Thanks, Kay Castillo. Thank you so, so much from the bottom of my heart. Be blessed, guys. Thank you. Stay tuned for our next video.